What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and I'm playing Scrolls, the first video I'm having since the patch with Wild and everything. So today I'm going to play some Ranked, don't worry, I'll do the other trials soon. I'm going to play some, uh, Aggro Growth. This is actually, uh, Blinky's deck, it's right here. Only goes to five resources, it's been doing well for me in Ranked, I just lost a Ranked match actually. Um, I got back into the top ten briefly, at exactly number ten, now I'm probably out of it, but I just lost the match. And down to twelve. But I've been doing pretty well with this deck. Um, I just lost that last match, though. And I'll try to regain my glory near the top or at the top of the rankings like I'm usually accustomed to being. So I think I'll play ranked matches again. And I make it, editing the video to cut out the waiting time for the ranked match will increase the time of actually making the video because of all the rendering and stuff by fourfold around so i think i'll just let let it look for a ranked match and when it finds a match i will uh go into it and i'll have an annotation on the screen right now for you to skip to where the match actually starts so yeah uh so you can click the annotation right now and you'll be at the uh at the match time And if we are back, found a match. Let's see if we can win this. Just lost that match. Be good. Ooh, Ghost Bomb. He's a formidable opponent. Plays energy. Uh, it's hard to get a bad starting hand with this deck. Another fine starting hand. The best hand is when you start with a uh, turn one uh, Fetter of the Wild. But this isn't that bad. Energy is not the best matchup for this deck. I think the best matchup for this deck is probably. Well, you want to face the more late game decks. This is range energy. Probably. Um. I'm gonna sack the breaker because I like the. Yeah. Maybe I should play the ranger so I can't get sparked, but. I want the possibility of that better getting some idle damage down. I like the breaker, not the mystic, because the breaker is burnable. The mystic will not reward card drop burn. Okay, well it's a one for one trade. Not not terrible, but of course I'd rather that not happen. I'm gonna keep the white ragged wolf. I will sacrifice the ranger play an Earthborn Mystic. Okay, so even though that was a one-for-one -one trade with the Spark and the better, probably favors him a little bit more because my deck is more aggro than him, so I really want to get a strong presence in the early game, whereas he probably doesn't mind. Okay. Charge Coil. We have a veteran. So I guess I'll sacrifice the Ragged Wolf, play the Breaker. So now, I wonder what he does here. Most likely I'll be able to at least destroy something next turn, like I'll destroy this Ether Pump at least. Okay, so now this is burnable, but I will at least destroy... this then if all goes well he has nothing to protect that and I could destroy the charger with the breaker but obviously that's not gonna happen he's gonna have something some probably like a forge or another ether pump or clock library or something but at least I'm hurting that we'll see how far he goes to just protect a single charge coil he has a forge okay and a copper auto Good, at least hit that thing. Actually, that means it's sparkable. That might actually be a bad thing. Um, okay, well, I guess 
kind of have to do that. And now, I guess I just play Great Wolf. And I hope for the best. I hope he doesn't have a spark or burn in his hand or machine chant. Any of those three kind of hurt me a lot because that cop rod will be able to take out the veteran as well then. Hopefully. I can only hope. I'm not playing normal modern growth so I can't, if this is structure energy I can't just sit and wait because I don't have any quakes. Another charge coil. Oh, oh. Interesting. That was a nice play, actually. Uh, I'll just play the veteran to knock that down. Yeah, you, you're not going to be able to play a Thunder Surge next turn. Or like a... Or a Stormrunner Bombard. So I'll do that. I took that, that over the forge. So. Nice draws. I mean, not to. Uh, I don't know. Not to. Uh, I don't know what the word would be, but Ghost Bomb does say those things a lot to me when I'm playing him. Everybody gets. I mean, this deck does get good draws. There's a lot of creatures in it, and I've seen him get a lot of good draws from time to time. So, Ghost Bomb's a nice thing. But Ghost Bomb's a nice guy. Um, I think I want to keep the rally because a rally like after this turn could be useful. With getting like the Great Wolf and the breaker to go off. So I'm gonna attack the totem because totem means energy is very easily destroyed with everything. And pretty good draw there. Two rallies, yeah. Um, so I guess I put you in the back, you in the front so I can get some more damage in. I'll hmm. You still can't thunder surge, so I'm gonna move down here. Or do I move up to, do I engage the, charge, the clock lever or the charge coil? I'm gonna have a rally so they can destroy this stuff in this lane anyways. So I'm gonna move you up, put the better there, and the ranger here. Okay. So now, I mean, probably just gonna rally this turn. So I can take out, okay, that's, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I'll rally. Uh, I'm gonna sec the better, even though I could pop it down with the rally, two rallies is really nice. Um, I'm gonna rally because if I don't, there's a 50% chance of Charge Quill killing my Vetter or my Breaker. So, you know. Now I will deal, I'll put you in front row. I want to get these guys not in the same, like, Stormrunner. And... Should I hit the idol? I mean, these none of these guys are going to... I mean, they might attack with a rally, so I am going to hit the idol. And I'll put the damage on that. Okay. So now, like, if I rally again, I can actually get pretty close to, like, destroying idols fast. If I rally with, like, a vetter, because then I can get some more growth, maybe. Okay. Interesting. Double sparks that over sparking this guy and that guy. Very interesting. I 
should probably rally. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rally with a ranger. Sack the better. And sack the better for growth because I'm gonna take out the clock library and then I can get a massive seven damage because he's probably gonna die next turn. So I am gonna I'm gonna save the I'm yeah, I'm gonna use the yeah, I'm gonna s I don't need all this growth, so I'm actually going to go like that. Okay. So now So I just take out that idol there, do seven damage in the middle. Do seven damage there and I'll I'm gonna keep it the way it is actually. Take out one idol. I'd rather take out an idol closer to the middle. Because now this idol's kinda cut off, so it's harder for him to defend it than like defending those three. So I am I am nicely uh I'm nicely ahead in interesting he plays proximity charge, so I guess the structure energy, so that's not odd. Attack like the Brave. As as we saw, he's a very afraid of Wetland Ranger because he double sparked that instead of spark sparking these two. Maybe as he has like sun eruptions, but he's really not that high in energy, so I'm not afraid of really anything he does. Um, I'll just play the Great Wolf this turn. So I have two Great Wolves, that would be very nice. Uh, move. He can Thunder Surge now, so I have to watch out for that. He might have to Storm Runner bombard stuff, so I have to be wary. There we go. And stack heart, I mean, you could have VDs, doesn't really matter. I'll keep that stack heart if I need some extra damage. Okay, so, I mean, it's a matter of time before he died. Double stack heart. Should probably keep that, even though it's energy, and energy does. Energy does, um. have a lot of removal. Maybe I should keep that double stack heart. Yeah, I am going to keep that double stack heart. I can get some acid. Ooh. Can I win? Six, seven, plus three. I can certainly almost win. If I play the Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull, I can go seven and three, so that's that dead idol. And then I can go four plus three. One more. If I had one more resource, I could win. I'm still gonna do this though. Yeah. Yep, I'm still gonna do this. And if he doesn't have a way of destroying this great wolf, I'm gonna have a double stack heart ready to go. Yeah, so if I stag hearted um, like one of those, I would have eight dodo tail total damage, which would leave this at one at one health. Like if I had one extra resource, I could play both stag hearts, which would be more than enough damage. All right, GG. Okay. Um. I guess I enjoyed that match because I won. Plus eleven, not too bad. Sorry, that's the phone. Okay, so thank you for watching, everybody. I guess my first ranked match video in a while. I'll also be doing the trials, but I will keep. I will finish the trials and some of the requested pestilence because that's kind of hard and I beat it before, so I'll try to do that. Um, and I'll continue that Minecraft Scroll Deer series because that's a lot of fun. So be, stay tuned for more videos from me. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this and like the video if you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Bye.